hello and welcome to The Diplomat and The Diplomat Chair. I'll get back to that in a second. For those people who don't know, The Diplomat was uh, made by a company called Howard Keith in England. Uh, first year of production was 1970. It was designed by John Hill uh, for Howard Keith. This brochure is a 1974 so it was in production for approximately four years to this point. I don't know what the last year of production was. I think it was possibly 76 to 77, but I'm not entirely sure. So this is uh, the couch with the very rare scatter cushions that you tend to never see with it, either the couch or the chair. Not that you see the chair very often. In fact, I couldn't find another picture of it anywhere and it's not in any of the Howard Keith catalogues I have and it's not on any price list and there doesn't seem to be a single photograph on the internet of it anyway. So if you see another photograph of a chair in this material, it's probably mine. So this material, most people refer to it as the tiger stripe. It's probably the most desirable of all the materials that the diplomat came in. Uh, next most desirable material I would imagine is the zebra stripe. The thing I like about this material on the Diplomat is that it follows across the whole couch. Uh, the back cushions, when they're in the right position, follows the print on the base cushions and the base cushions follows the print on the main base. Uh, the arms, everything, I just love the way the print flows across the two. Uh, maybe that's why I prefer it to the zebra, but I guess it's individual preference. Um, the couch, it is quite large. Uh, it's 2.6 metres long, but it's not too difficult to manoeuvre around the house, as in the arms have two bolts on the bottom, the bolt into the base. You can easily remove them, so the arms both come off. Uh, the back cushions aren't fixed they just sit there and this back section that just pops out it's just held with some dowel rods at the back and uh, so it's pretty easy and quick to break up if you like to to move it around the chair constructed in exactly the same way making that very maneuverable too uh, the only main sort of construction difference with the chair is that the main base cushion is down filled whereas these are foam filled and they both have the same chrome legs. I just had this cleaned this week and it's come up amazing. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. The material, it's what we would call drail on now. Uh, they call it a micro fleece in the catalogue, but it's drail on. That's, that's, what, it's, that's what it is. Uh, it's like a piled material and depending on which way it's brushed it can catch the light in different ways. Uh, in certain light it can look very cream, almost white like it does here. Uh, later in the evening as you lose the light it, can, it seems to change to a lighter brown, sometimes a darker brown uh, in the really low light. around the back for you. So that's the back of it there. Uh, I like to sit sideways on this chair with my sort of back here and legs over that side. It's very comfortable and uh, I just love it. I looked for this couch or for this set for 15 years and eventually found it. It was a long journey but it's been worthwhile. It's not for sale so sorry please don't ask. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.